This patient presents with a strong labial muscle pull, and so what we can do is using the phrenectomy setting of the eyelids, dissect the frenum from the attached tissue. We can do this either with a strong topical anesthetic or for your first several cases, probably a local anesthetic, but only use a few drops of local anesthetic because if you use as, even as much as a quarter of a carpule, you'll end up distending the tissue and not being able to see the extents of the muscle attachment. Notice how slowly we move the laser tip because the slower we move, the faster we're going to cut. It removes tissue very gently. And in some cases, you're going to see some dark tissue. And this is not charred tissue because this is a very, very vascular area of the mouth, so you're seeing coagulated blood. A few times, gently wiggle the tissue back and forth in order to exacerbate the muscle pulls visually. And then once you remove them, you can see that once you uh, wiggle again, those muscle pulls essentially uh, have disappeared, and this is exactly what you want to see. I think in general, you'll need to go a little more laterally than you really anticipate that you're going to have to. Uh, don't be alarmed at the size of some of these uh, surgeries that you end up performing. This is a good time to note that there's a little nodule next to the uh, surgical site as well, and we're going to remove this using the eyelids in the same phrenectomy setting. And then using a tissue pickup, we can remove this uh, lesion very easily. Notice how nice and clean this is. Notice that there's no charring. Notice that there's no bleeding. And these are exactly the things that are going to help us to achieve a very, very nice result postoperatively. And speaking of postoperatively, patients are generally advised to not be real careful with their surgical sites. The rationale behind this is that the more aggressive the patient is with their fingers or their tongue in the surgical site, the less likely the tissue is to reattach postoperatively.